Williams. I work in human resources here at Riverwind Casino. Beats and Bites is something that we've decided to do for our uh, 10th year anniversary here as a business in Norman. And we wanted to really get the community involved and thank them for all of their support over the years. And so we've decided to host this food truck and live entertainment festival here at Riverwind. Beats and Bites is just a, it's just a cool, uh, cool atmosphere where we've got a lot of food trucks here, got a lot of merchants here. There's a, got some really cool bands out here. It's a great place to bring the, bring the family out here and enjoy great food, great fun, and great music. The experience that you can expect is lots of great food, uh, good music, a really good time. There's really fun for everyone. We've got games and bounce houses for the kids. It's, it's a lot of fun. My favorite part of the uh, Beats and Bites event is the uh, just the whole entire atmosphere. We're all right here together. Uh, we've got the music playing in the background, so we're all able to hear it all, and we uh, can just enjoy it as, as much as the fans get to enjoy it. My favorite part is the food. I, I love to eat and I love to come out and get to, to visit with people and see lots of people that I know and meet some people that I don't know. Look at that! Oh yeah! I think what really sets our food truck festival apart from any others is that we've got a big huge parking lot area that provides lots of space for all of the food trucks and it's really spread out and then we also have the main stage where there's lots of live entertainment and the stage is a really nice setup and just kind of brings everything together and gives you something to do while you're sitting there eating your food and you just get to listen to some great music. People should come because it's a great time, you know, it's a, it's a good opportunity to get out and to be able to do something and it's, it's fun for the whole family. It's free to enter so you can come out, enjoy some music and enjoy some food and have lots of fun. Come, come on, on out, out to Beats, Beats and Bites at Riverwind, Riverwind Casino, Casino in Norman. If you're not here at Beats and Bites, you need to get down here now. You're missing out on a great time. After Beats and Bites, come check out Riverwind Casino. We have a number of electronic games, the poker room, and the blackjack pit. You must be 18 years or older to play. We also have Willow's Buffet, Chips and Ales Restaurant, and the Riverwind Hotel if you'd like to stay overnight. My name is Stephen Villiun. I'm the general manager at the Patriarch. So the Patriarch is a uh, all-American craft beer house. Uh, we're literally a house. Uh, we actually call ourselves a craft beer house and lawn. So uh, most of the activity here at the house is. Um, featuring around, hanging out with people. We really kind of want to embody this idea of community through beer. Um, we want people to talk to each other and hang out uh, and, and learn about craft beer and get to try stuff. So we're really focused on American craft beer and Oklahoma beer as well. I think people should come to the Patriarch because it's really a relaxed, uh, relaxed space. Um, it's fun and inviting and you get to hang out with people. Uh, and the focus for us is not necessarily on um, being a traditional bar, it's more of uh, creating an opportunity for people to, to really feel comfortable uh, and feel like they're at home. Uh, we want people to walk away from here feeling like they got top quality beer, um, that we had really good product, that they had really good conversation, and that they were welcomed by our staff. Um, that they were taken care of and that they were just happy uh, to come in and enjoy a really good experience with craft beer. Hello, my name is Blair Humphreys. I'm the Director of Design and Development for Wheeler District. One of the things we have at Wheeler uh, is the new Ferris wheel. And this Ferris wheel has a little bit of history. It's the former Santa Monica Ferris wheel. And interestingly enough, my brother bought the Ferris wheel on eBay in 2008. So certainly uh, our family's most interesting eBay purchase. So over the last eight years, uh, we've worked to get that wheel refurbished, get it ready, and today you can drive down to Wheeler District and see the Ferris wheel on the south bank of the Oklahoma River with tremendous views of downtown and the surrounding area. I think the 
Ferrisville is great for families to come out. You can take a ride. A single ride is only $6 or you can get a day pass for $10. Um, it's just fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a plaza. There's great photo opportunities. We feature the OKC sculpture by Hugh Mead as well as other public art. And so, you know, this is an amusement park. It's, it's not a carnival. What it is is a great place. And that's what we want Wheeler to be, is a neighborhood full of great places. Uh, great places for entertainment, uh, like the Riverfront Plaza with the Ferris wheel, but also great places to live, uh, great housing, uh, great shops and cafes, uh, just a, a great place for life in the city. What's interesting is what it connects to. Uh, so you have the Oklahoma River, it's a beautiful river, it was improved by the MAPS projects. And those trails connect to all parts of the city, so you can take a bike and ride out all the way to, to Lake Hefner, or you could ride downtown. Uh, or you could ride to the Boathouse District and check out the new OKC uh, River Sport Rapids. Uh, so there's a lot to do along the River Corridor, uh, and the Ferris Wheel and Wheeler is just one part of an exciting city that's growing up around the river. For me personally, is just coming at my. Uh, um. Comments people have made. Hang on. A <laughs> oh, wind tunnel. Always here to help each other out. I don't think I like that one though. Check out our number of electronic games we have to play as long as. Sorry. However, we also have the Willows Buffet, Chips and Ales Restaurant, and the Riverwind Hotel. <laughs> I forgot what our. What our uh, buffet was called. Right, a Riverwind Casino, Casino in Norman. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I, was trying, I was trying really hard to. They, they come up here and ask me all that, all that stuff, and they're like, "What do you have here? It's not your business."